Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Paul Champagne. I'm with uh, Beaver Coaches here in Bend, Oregon. And we currently have our coach in for service right now, but we have a 2006 Beaver Patriot Thunder, which we've had going on almost six years, coming up this May. And we do our annual spring service before we head down south to California, as we have a place at Outdoor Resorts in Indio. And my wife is with me now. Her name is Maggie Champagne. And Hi, I'm Maggie Champagne, and um, I love motor coaching. Uh, Paul introduced me to it back in 1996. And we travel with these two, two boys, Molson and Max, and they've been with us for four years, and they also travel well and love motor coaching. So right now, uh, like I say, once we're out of here, we're heading south for about a month to five weeks, and then um, We'll be traveling around this summer in the U.S. Uh, we like the Washington area and Oregon areas, and um, yeah, we've been coming. I've been coming to Beaver Coach Sales now for I guess 20 years now, and I've had three beavers: uh, 38, 36 footer, a 40, and now we're into a 45 uh, with four slides. And we love the woodwork in them, the way they handle. Um, and Beaver Coach Sales is great. Their staff is very knowledgeable. Uh, they're very friendly and we got introduced a lot of them last year at a rally we had here in Redmond, Oregon with all beaver owners and that was a fun July weekend. But uh, yeah, so we're anxious to get on the go and... Um, Although yeah. it's always wonderful coming here because it's yeah. like coming home. Um, as you said, staff yeah. is always wonderful. Um, Ty, Jody, just everybody, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always fun to be around and um, feel very comfortable here. Nice thing about the beaver lifestyle or RV lifestyle too is, you know, we'll stop somewhere on the way down in a rest area because if it's late at night, we don't want to pull in an RV park. And, you know, you draw the curtains, you flip up the satellite and you could be anywhere. You could be in your backyard. You could be, uh, you know, Timbuktu basically in your own little world. And uh, we love that. You have all your amenities with us, and we just love the lifestyle. So, uh, like I said, Maggie said, around the new year future, we're going to do another trip across country to Florida, then up to the New York State area, then back across the top, and uh, back to our home in Vancouver, British Columbia. So, um, yeah, that's what they're for. We like traveling in the RV. We put on probably 12,000 miles a year on the average, maybe a little bit more. And um, yeah, that's our lifestyle for now. My other coach had a nice stereo system in it because we go to a lot of country music festivals in the summertime and we like to entertain a lot in our beaver. So we put an outside 40 inch TV or 42 inch TV. We have a remote speaker system out there. Uh, I got a 24 inch uh, Margaritaville sign hanging from the side of the coach it's, and uh, it's a neon. So it attracts a lot of people over and we've been to quite a few FMCA rallies and uh, you meet so many people. But I think the neon sign on the outside and the po we have a flagpole in the back with, um, I think it says it's, it's five, five o'clock somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> and our beers like to party, it's no secret about that. So and they all met. come over for margaritas and yeah. my husband makes excellent margaritas. Yeah, so we enjoy that lifestyle. So yeah, everywhere we go, we pretty well get set up that way. and. Um, yeah, it's a focal point from in the campground. Everybody comes by our RV park and people come by and uh, want to have a drink and introduce themselves. And a few years ago, we were down in Pleasanton, California, just outside of San Francisco. And I just finished setting up and we had the light on, the Margaritaville sign on, and a guy comes up and he says, oh, you're a Parrothead fan. I said, yeah, I like Jay Buffett. He says, I used to be his road manager. So it's quite amazing who you meet in RV parks. It's real different clientele, no doubt about it. Okay. What was the gentleman oh, that sang? Daryl Worley. Daryl Worley, yes. that's right. And he enjoyed your margaritas too. Yes, right? yeah, we made uh, Jody. Uh, Kelly asked me to make him a batch, so I met the boys and, and another coach at the fairgrounds last year. We made a batch of margaritas, and uh, Maggie bought a signed guitar at the auction from him. And uh, yeah, real nice fellows. Both of all three of them were real nice. So yeah, you know, it's you never know. Every trip's always an adventure. Yes. So that's our ritual normally where we go. So I always have the. Um, the speakers outside. I remember one time a few years back and our other coach, I was at a convention down in Vegas, <clears throat> which I go to every September and I bring my motorhome down and entertain a, a variety of clients. So one Saturday afternoon I get down there, I'm setting everything up and this old guy across the street's looking at me with a military brush cut and I'm going, oh great, you know, here we go. Now we're in trouble. You know, I got the speakers out there and he's looking at me and I put some music on and he yells over at me and I'm thinking, oh, here we go. This is going to help you. And he says, yeah, can't hear it. Turn it up. 
<laughs> been best friends ever since, so yeah, it's always good. I really love the woodwork in, in the beavers, um, and they also feel solid. Like, I, I find that I open a drawer in other coaches and there's like a, um, a very loose kind of flimsy, flimsy feeling. Lightweight. And you, Lightweight. Yeah, yeah. You grab, uh, you open a drawer in the beaver or a door. If you open these doors, they're solid. Um, I think that's what I like about the, the beaver coaches. Um, yeah, the woodwork is top notch. We have cherry wood in our coach, uh, similar to this one right here, actually. And uh, yeah, the hardwood is just beautiful. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. It stands up well. You know what? It's real wood. It's not laminate, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And like uh, we like the tile floor. Uh, we have some carpet, which we like to eventually pull out and go with uh, tile through the whole coach. But um, you know what? With dogs, it kind of makes a mess. But yeah, we're uh, we're really sold on the Beaver model yeah, just because like the quality. Work. They're heavier coaches, by no doubt about it. Um, and I like mine because I have a cat engine, so uh, it's an 06, so I don't have the smog stuff on it, so I have lots of power, and uh, but they're not notorious for their mileage beavers, no doubt about it. But comfort, can't beat them, yep. no doubt about it. I agree. Yep. Very comfortable. Yeah. Love my beaver. Yep. My name is Paul. And my name is Maggie, and we love our, our beaver, beaver coach. coach.